Hello everyone, uh, I'm gonna show you how to install the server for the PFD instrument app or for the flight simulator display app. The, these two applications allows you to connect with the Flight Simulator X and use your Android device as a primary flight display instrument. So, um, when you try to install the server or the, the application that allows you to connect with your phone application, sometimes it's gonna crash or even it's not, it's not gonna open because uh, there's uh, some issues with the um, Steam Edition, so I'm gonna show you how to how to make it work and some tips if you have if you're having some problems with uh, trying to run this server. So the first thing you have to do is to go to um, Casni. You have to go to Casni Soft.co.nf and you go to PFD instrument and you go down and there's the server PFD server version 1.3 you download this file once you have this file in your computer you, if you're uh, a user of Windows 10 maybe you're gonna have a problem uh, it's gonna crash and gonna say something that the application cannot start because there's a um, there's a problem side by side from compatible configuration, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna put the, the message down here, and that's because there's a problem with the delivery of Sim Connect. Sim Connect is a delivery that connects the FSX game with uh, other other third party applications. In this case, with the PFD instrument, or the primary flight, or the flight simulator display. Okay. So, what you have to do is you have to uh, open your file explorer. You have to go to file explorer and go where you have the folder of the installation of all, all the application or games of Steam. So in this case, I have this folder uh, here. So it's gonna be Steam library. You have to find this folder and Steam apps. Common, and you're gonna find the game, in this case is FXX, right? Flight Simulator X. Then you have to go into SDK, and then you have to go to Sim Connect, no, to Core Utilities, then Sim Connect SDK, and Legacy Interfaces. So here you have to, you have to go inside each one. And you have to install the Sim Connect. Right? You have to install this file. Then you have to go to this, install this file, and these two. Okay? You have to install the three files that uh, that are in each folder. So, and you have to install. Sorry, you have to install or try to install. Maybe it's not gonna work. But in case. Try to install this uh, file. It is in is in the folder SDK SP1A, but it's not gonna work. But try. Maybe your installation is not completed when you try to install the game from Steam. So give it a try. But you have to do with all the other three files. Those three files are you. Is a must. Is a must. Okay. Once you have the those three files executed you can open the the pfdi server the file that we download from my website and it's gonna look like this okay but you have to take a look at something your ip address the ip of your computer because here i have a problem i have an ip that is not my ip and it's because i have a virtual ip of dropbox so you have to open the command prompt and type ipconfig and you can see that there's there's more uh, IPs and you have the real IP of your computer and you have other virtual IP so the idea is to uh, disable all, all the other IPs on, and only keep uh, available the, the real physical IP of your machine 
So we're going to go to network settings, change adapter options or connections, right? Options. <laughs> And you have to hit, in this case, I have VirtualBox host only network. And you're gonna disable this, this connection. Okay. The next step is to close the, the server. Close here. And we try to open again the server. And you can see it, I have uh, the real, real IP of my PC. So next step is you're gonna open the flight simulator game I have already opened and then you have to open the application. In this case I'm gonna use the FS display. So here is the FS display. Let me put some more brightness. Okay. And we're gonna put the same IP you have in the, the in the server. So in this case is Save IP and automatically connects with the Android and with the Microsoft Flight Simulator X. It is important that you have the Microsoft Flight Simulator X open because it's not gonna work if you don't have the, the game open. Okay. And there's a new update and in this version of the of the application of uh, Flight Simulator Display only appears one time this ad, no more ads. Uh, it was working that. Every five minutes, the the application was dropping or showing showing more ads. No, um, it's gonna get it's like a full version, but the difference is you're not, you're not gonna have the first ad. If you want to support my work, if you really like this this application, and believe me, I have more ideas. I have more things to do with flight simulator things. So I appreciate that you can go to the. PFD instrument app and download it. It costs like a dollar, I think. And that supports, man. I appreciate that. If you want to support and you like the application, you can do that. Okay. Okay. As so you have here the application, we're gonna fly. And you're gonna see the data has changed. We have different altitude in this case because the data from the game is already sent, it's being sent into the, to the app. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this this tutorial. Thank you.